I believe these guys were the defending champions. They won again. Their final analysis was first in waltz, tied for first in tango, second in foxtrot, and first in Viennese waltz. Of course, mm -hmm. we're talking about Nick and Victoria. And we already know, if you've been watching any of our previous episodes, that in Smooth, you have two loves in your life at the moment. <laughs> Were Nick and Victoria the other love in your life? Absolutely. I'm, I'm in love with Roman and Galena. It's not a secret, I don't think, between you and I now, Chris, and now the rest of the world. Quite a big fan. And I'm in love with Nick and Victoria. And I'm a woman with two loves in her life, and it, it tears me apart that I have to put second against any name at any time, and I know it's going to come, and it's like, ah, horrible. So let me tell you why I love Nick and Victoria, and then why I love that Roman and Galena are pushing at them. Is Nick and Victoria uh, this couple where they're so classic, so elegant, and they just, they have everything that I admire about the technique of smooth and they had it from the moment they touched it's like they've got this perfect technical chemistry and it's so beautiful it's like watching it's like feeling like a cool breeze on a summer day you know i just feel like i watch them i turn to see them and i relax you know it's just it's so wonderful watching people move with such massive power and look like you know do you see that yeah, it just, it's <laughs> too cool for school. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, it's beautiful. Like, just, the, I love the simple. I love how clean, I love how classy it is. So they're the opposite to Roman and Galena, and I love that. And I love that these two couples are at the top of the smooth tree right now for everybody to look up to and everybody to be like, I relate to that, and the other people going, I relate to a Roman and Galena, and for them to all feel like they have a chance to contribute and to win in the style. It's beautiful. So um, I love their technique and I feel like it's A++, it's second to none, it's leagues above all of the others in a, you know, amazingly technically skilled field. And so because of that, their dynamics are amazing and they're, because, you know, you have to have technique for dynamics, obviously. In their dynamics, I feel like with them, they have the ability to make things look too easy. You know, so I always want them to like, just push a little stronger, a little harder. So if they're in that seaweed range where everything's soft and effortless, it's like, I need them to like spike and shock me for a second and then come back and maybe feel like, hang on, that's like, but you know, what just happened? I feel like I'm like floating along to the trees and it's like, you know, was that an electric shock? And then you just bring me back to the trees again. So I feel like they do that enough for me now. They didn't at the beginning. And then Max and Tatiana came along and it kind of went like, okay, you're going to have to do something a little bit more than be classic and elegant and beautiful mm -hmm. and technical. You're going to have to give me like shock value and like high dynamics. And then they did it just enough to then highlight their technique even more. So then focus and intent wise, I feel like if they've got Roman and Galena technically, Roman and Galena have got Nick and Victoria with focus and intent. I, I feel like that's, you know, the two things. So if Nick and Victoria have to mm -hmm. watch out, they have to get into the character of the dance. They have to do, if there's a full scale of one to 10 in character. So if one is um, like really negative and 10 is really positive, I feel like, you know, they play around with three to eight. You know, they don't go super negative okay. or super positive or super yep. sexy or super, you know, sultry or super angry. It's always like just almost there and then they back off again because they're showing how elegant it is. So I'm like, no, come on, take me, take me. Like, I want to tell me your story. I want to have my popcorn and I want to be like, Kessa! <laughs> Kessa! <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Where Roman and Galena, I'm just like, okay, they're kissing, back off. You know, I, I, I totally get that from Roman and Galena. And with Nick and Victoria, I'm like, come on, kiss her. Or, or you know, like, make me feel like that argument is going to end in, like, hot lovemaking. I don't know. Like, like, take me there. Get there. Get to 10. Get to 1. Get to 10. Like, I need joy. <laughs> I need, not like... I don't want like really happy. I want exuberant. I want like absolute surrender to the joy. You know, if I'm sad, I want you know I want to be epically sad. I must admit, Victoria does epically sad well. 
you know? So I'm like, well, she, she does do epically sad well. Nick doesn't, she does. Yeah, so it's like there is range, but it's not the full range. And I feel like Roman and Galena are going to push them to emotionally find their absolute boundaries of one to ten. They've been safe in three to, you know, two to eight. And it's like not good enough. They're going to get you. They're, they don't need better technique to get you on the focus of intent. So you got to push it. You got to push it. You got to make me watch your movie and not be able to tear my eyes away to this other movie over here of Roman and Galena, who, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm torn to it now. Your technique is not enough to keep me looking away. And at Emerald Ball, that was the battle I was having. I'm like, oh, I love you, I love you. Your technique is so beautiful. You make me feel the cool breeze, but oh my God, they make me feel the hot fire, the cool breeze, hot fire. What do I want? You know, do I want to be in a desert island? Do I want to feel the sun on me? Or do I want to be like cool breeze, like chiffon with like lying on silk sheet? Like, what do I want? I don't even know it. I'm such a woman. <laughs> anyway. So that's what I think of Nick and Victoria. Is that clear? <laughs> um, Tony, that was very clear. I I got every bit uh, of what you said, especially, you know, uh, when you were eating your popcorn. And, uh, I've never heard an Australian go kiss her, kiss her. I always thought they would say something more like, uh, her. Shag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Shag, super shag. <laughs> Okay, well, there goes by this is for kids rating on YouTube. But yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, that was, it was so, never going to be that. No, nah, that was so like such a visual uh, explanation. Uh, <laughs> as as somebody okay. would say, Stevie Wonder would have understood what you said there. So <laughs> it's like. Uh, All right, uh, I'm, I'm glad I made myself clear. That I've totally made clear. To you. And as I say, Chris, if you get it, hopefully other people can get it. Can get it. <laughs> yeah, like it should be very easy for everybody else. Um, yeah. I, I yeah. just have to say, this has been such an entertaining uh, couple of hours or whatever it's been. Just, you know, just talking <laughs> to you. And it's our first conversation. Uh, as I told you before, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, talking to your husband. Uh, I believe we we discussed usdc in 2019 uh he just didn't quite have the uh the visual presentation <laughs> that you that, that you have doesn't do uh, this he doesn't well you know <laughs> not when he's on my sofa and actually he's hopefully right when now. i oh, <laughs> hopefully when i eventually yeah, get no, you on my sofa you will do all of this again so uh that was great. That was great. Um, the couples, you yeah. know, once again, it's like this is what a learning tool for them. You're a judge. You've just told them what. Okay. Incredible. I hope so. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun, Chris. Uh, I've been looking forward to I've been dreading this and looking forward to it. I, I just hope the couples know that it's all said with love. It's all said with their best intentions in mind. I love. Any feedback is done with uh, constructive criticism in heart, you know, in my mind and in my heart, and uh, not to put them down because honestly, to be in that final, they're exceptional. And it's just to push them to be the absolute best version of themselves, not to put them down. Well, I, do, I don't think you put anybody down. And you, once again, you explained the way that you explain things. Even I. Even you got it. Even you got it. Chris. Even I, even I got it. And you're on a computer screen. As I say, you're not on my sofa with me. And it right. was still. It, it's, I don't think you can survive awful. me on your sofa with you. I don't think you can survive me on your sofa. <laughs> We'd need more. Well, uh, yes, I'm going to put your husband in the middle. I thought I could have been <laughs> yes. in the middle of both of you, but I'll, I'll put your husband in the middle, and he. He has yes. survived how many years? How many years 20, have you guys been married? 25 years together as partners and uh, 20 years of marriage last year. So, yeah, it works. Jesus. He's a good man. I'm a lucky well, girl. Congratulations Thank you. on that as, <laughs> as well. Um, for our viewers, um, if you want to find out more about what went on at Emerald Ball, go to emeraldball.com, www.emeraldball.com, and uh, you will see videos from Backstage Ballroom. You will also see that Super Shag did a, a big uh, media coverage of 
this event. Um, also, dancebeat.com. I've been reporting on stuff, anything that has been going on. So www.dancebeat.com. And once again, just to finish off, Tony, thank you so <laughs> much. It's so much fun for me to do this. And I can Likewise. have some sparkly, sparkly water and, uh, and learn. <laughs> yes. Least classy glass ever, but whatever. Cheers, mate. I know, but a gimlet, it tastes the same with whatever you drink it out of. So, uh, all right. Once again, Tony, give uh, Michael a big kiss for me. And thank you so much. And everybody else, we will see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>